All right, I believe in you. I believe in you, absolutely. And you're probably thinking, well, who's this guy to tell me that he believes in me and who cares? Maybe you don't care and that's okay. Don't listen, don't tune in. But if you have some dreams in life, if you really want to pursue that kind of lifestyle that you really want to live, then stay tuned because this is important. This is a little pep talk for you because I do believe that we can all achieve what we want to achieve in life. I do believe that we can follow our dreams and our hearts in life and live this extraordinary, joyful, rich, meaningful, fulfilled life. And that's the life I want to go after. I've written a book about it because many years ago, I started on this journey and I really had no idea about how to get there, but I knew that I didn't want to live a complacent life. I didn't want to live just this average life. The world seemed too extraordinary to me to to accept that. So I don't want complacency. Now, maybe it's not for everyone and maybe we're not all wired the same way, whatever it is, but I do know that we all have things that we are passionate about. I do know that we all have in our hearts, maybe we haven't found it yet, but in our hearts we have a dream. We have dreams. We have things that we want to do. We have things we want to set out to achieve. And here's what I've learnt along the way, and I'm still learning because I've had many, many, many dreams, and I've had many, many things that I wanted to achieve, and I've gone after many things as well, and I've failed many, many times too. But again, that thing keeps getting me back up off my bum, is that I don't want to just accept complacency. I I don't want to get to the end of my life, whenever that might be, you know, when I'm old and grey, I'm already old and grey, but you know what I mean? Like when, when that time comes, I don't want to be sitting there going, geez, I wish I gave that a crack. I'd rather be sitting there saying, thank God I gave that a crack. It wasn't for me, but I gave it a go. Or... I failed miserably, but I gave it a go. I'd rather be saying that than saying, oh, it sucks, never gave anything a go, because I just gave up, and I'd hate to see anyone give up. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep going. I'm resilient. I'm a fighter, and I'm going to get up over and over again to follow these dreams. And here's a couple of things that I think really stop us from pursuing our dreams. And I've learned this personally, because when I set out on my journey to self-discovery and following dreams is that, you know, we're surrounded by all this social media now, all these brilliant people in our faces every day. It's a bit bit of a facade, like not not everything's so peachy and and perfect in life, is it? Let's be honest. But that's what we see every single day. And we see all these people living these great lives and we go, geez, that looks like a, a great life. Look, he's on a beach making millions of dollars and doesn't look like he's working. Who doesn't want to make a lot of money and, and not really work for it? I don't know. I think a lot of people would, right? But that's not the reality of success, in my opinion. I think there's smart ways to do things and certainly smart ways to make money, but that's not the reality. And what happens is we get caught up in this this idea that there's this perfect, you know, utopian world that we could live in by not doing much. And it gives us this false hope because we think, oh, we could do that, um, but I don't really have to do anything. No, you have to work hard to get to where you want to go. You have to work hard to fight for your dreams. And where I'm going to with this is that we see all these people out there doing these things and we think, geez, that looks good, I'm going to do that. But when it's not aligned with what's truly within our passions, our joy, what's within our heart, these dreams that we really want, when it's not aligned with that, of course you're going to give up because it's not going to feel right. You're going to create some life friction is what I call it. And when that happens, when you're not acting or showing up in the world authentically, authentically, I can't pronounce that word, but when you're not showing up as you should show up, as you really desire to show up, you're not going to achieve what you want to achieve because things aren't going to come to you. But when you do find what you really love, what you're really passionate about, what you really desire to do, then follow those dreams, take those steps. The second thing I think that we struggle with that often makes us give up is we look out there and let's say we found it, we go, okay, this is what I really enjoy. I really enjoy cooking or I really enjoy inspiring people or I really enjoy real estate or I really enjoy uh, writing books, whatever it might be for you in particular. There's a way to have that dream flourish, right? But what we often do is we go out there and we go, okay, well, that's the sort of thing I like to do. And we look for role models and mentors around us. And once we find them, we see that they're up here, right? They're 
the years ahead of us and they've got all this great success and we, we benchmark ourselves against that level when we're sort of down here, like way down here maybe, you know, and we're looking up here. So I think it's great to have that dream to be as good as that person, but don't start by that, that first leap, you know, don't let that be your first goal. We have to start somewhere and our first steps need to be much, much smaller. And I think what happens is often we go, geez, I want to get there. And because we're so impatient these days, we want things, you know, overnight, we run out there trying to achieve and be like that really great superstar in our industry. And we're not getting there. We're not getting traction. We're not getting the grip. And we lose hope. We go, geez, maybe I'm not cut out for this. And we give up. And there goes our dreams. So I think I'm here to say, find out what it is that you really want to do. Understand that dream, vision that dream daily, delve into it, visualize yourself there living it, but then look where you are at right now and go, okay, what's that first step that I can take? Because success takes many years. They've studied it over the years, the 10,000 hour rule, they call it. And it's not that you do it for 10,000 hours and then you've got mastery. No, not necessarily. I think it's consistent practice combined with intensity and variety that really makes you a master of any art. And so if you continually do it and you continually take those steps and you continually put in the practice and you're continually putting in that practice in a variety of scenarios, you will improve and you'll get better and better day by day. And that's all it's about, just improvement. Constant and never ending improvement every single day. And then after a while, you'll be going looking back and you'll, you'll feel like yeah, nothing's changed because it's, it's taken a while, you know? But then you look back at your history over the last 10 years and you go, holy geez, there has been a lot that changes. And I'm guilty that I don't often appreciate how far I've come or the achievements I've done. And I think we're all guilty of that, right? We look at what we haven't done yet, what we haven't achieved. But we should still acknowledge where we've come from and what we've achieved to date. You know, when I look back, and I was just talking about this with my coach this morning, 10 years ago or even more, maybe 15 years ago, I had absolutely no morning routine. And nowadays, it's really hard for me not to have a morning routine. And when I don't do it, I feel really bad, I feel guilty. But what I'm saying is that things take time. So I believe in you, I believe everyone's got a dream, and I believe you've got something inside that you wanna do, you wanna achieve. You wanna follow some dreams, right? So I think go out there and go and get it. And don't let those couple of things stop you from getting it. You will face obstacles, you will face challenge, you will face upset, but just keep in mind that dream and remember where you are right now. Acknowledge your wins and take those steps each day, every day, and you can achieve your dreams in life. That's all from me today. Have a great one.